Hey, we're out on site today. Another awesome opportunity to set the scene on this distinctive new home. So starting up in front of the home, we're gonna create an inviting entrance with this paver walkway and this stone seating area. So now out here on the back side of this home, we're gonna create a large outdoor living area overlooking this golf course. So to get down to this outdoor living area, we're gonna have one step off of here, down to a paver landing, down to a smaller paver landing. So then a walkway comes off of this step system out into this large paver area. We incorporate different tones, textures, shapes, and colors to designate each space in this area. We're gonna start out here with some built-in seating with a raised block and cap wall. It's gonna lead us over to this fairway fire feature. And to finish off this space, this client requested a sandwich bar. We're gonna build that out of block and cap right in this area. We finished off this front walkway, a nice distinctive entrance, which is gonna be surrounded by plants, landscape mulch, little flagstone seating area with a boulder bench. All the hardscapes are wrapped up on this job. We installed our aluminum edging and now the plant material is going in. Well, the leaves are falling and the air is getting colder here in Wisconsin, but the scene has been set at the golf course and we're ready to show you how these spaces turned out. So this walkway off the driveway provides a real nice welcoming flow. We incorporated multiple styles of Unilock pavers. This allows for us to bring in different tones and textures to create an entrance that truly complements the architectural details on the front of this newly built home. We also added a stone bench and a small seating area. We shaped out some bed lines and finished things off with some low maintenance plant options. Along with some decorative pathway lights and seasonal planters, this space provides the inviting feel we are going for. So pulling from the same tones and texture palette as up front, we created a very unique outdoor living space on the back side of this home. So we shaped out a couple block and cap landings using Unilock's old quarry wall and full nose coping. So we define our borders and bandings using a lighter colored Brussels block and a couple different Matoni blends. So down in this living area, we used Westport as our main paver. Then we dropped in a herringbone pattern medallion or rug, if you will. A couple vertical elements were designed and built into the space, the first being this low seating wall. We shaped it around the outside of the patio space on the same radius. We added a river crest wall accent stripe and some low voltage lights to finish it off. So no outdoor space is complete without a fire feature. This one is wood burning. We set it to the outside of the main living space. Once again, we used a river crest wall accent stripe and some full nose coping. This custom steel cover will keep things dry and clean when not in use. So another cool feature and one of my favorite elements that was built into this space is this custom sandwich or serving bar. So set on the same radius as the seat wall in the perimeter of this patio, we incorporated the accent stripe again and used ledge stone caps to create two separate countertops. 
So on the back side of this bar, we created a small cooler nook or a space for dry firewood storage. So low voltage lights set the mood and this overhead pub light allows for evening serving. The request was for an outdoor space with access and flow to the backyard overlooking the fairway. One that would provide the necessary built-in features to entertain guests after a long day on the links. From the initial design meeting to the finished product, these clients trusted us with our creativity and the results speak for themselves. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to comment any questions or feedback and we'll see you next time on Hometown Hardscapes.